Hello. Let's look at a review. Sum of AP. There are two formula for sum of AP, arithmetic progression. The first one is n over 2 plus the first term plus the last term, the value of the last term. Then the other one is n over 2 times twice the first term plus n uh, number of terms minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, So when are we supposed to use this versus that? Say you are given A and you are asked to sum the arithmetic progression with common difference D. The second term is A plus D. The term is A plus 2D. And then the uh, fourth term is A plus 3D. And then dot dot to the value of the nth term is L. And you are given the value of L. So to get the sum of these, you just go uh, number of terms. You count 1, 2, blah, 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 to n. They are n terms, divided by 2. Value of the first term, a. Value of last term, l. You sum, uh, you just sum a plus l times n, divided by 2, will get you the sum of all this. Okay? So uh, this is when the nth uh, term value is given. Say the m term value is not given. Okay? The same problem. Now we have to use the other formula. So uh, the other formula will be number of terms n divided by 2 twice the first term plus this uh, number of terms less 1 times the common different d. This will also give you the sum without knowing that. And you can easily see uh, why that is true. We can break this 2a into a plus 2a as a plus another a plus m minus 1d. a plus m minus 1d will be the value of, of the n term, which is this one, where we call it L. So there is uh, the reason. Now let us uh, look at the example. We are given 3, 8, 13, blah, 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 to 118 terms. And then the common uh, difference is 5 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8 plus 5, 13, da, 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 to all of it, 118. This is not given. So value is not given. The value of that 118 term is not given. So we are going to use this formula, this one. So it will be what? Number of terms will be 118 divided by 2 times twice the first term, 3, plus the n term, less 1, times the common difference, 5. And this one you know how to do is the sum is three four eight six nine. Now say now uh, the the hundred eighteen terms are given five eighteen uh, five eight eight. Now uh, let's say this is not given, right? You can still uh, find the hundred eighteen terms. First term plus hundred eighteen less one times five will get you five eight two. Now, assume that this is given, so you don't have to compute that. Let's say if it's not given and you're forced to use the other formula, then you have to compute the value of this first. Okay. Now, in, the, in our problem is that this is given. Okay. So it will be first term plus the last value of last term times the number of terms divided by 2. We get that. Another example here, uh, we, instead of going uh, 118 terms, we give you a smaller example. Now this is given. If this is given, you need to find the sum. It's what first term plus the value of our last term, and the number of terms five or two, and then you, you know how to do that. Blah blah blah. You get a sum is negative sixty five. Let, let let's check by hand. If you are given this, uh, add this, you get seven. Add seven and minus thirteen, you get minus six. Minus six and minus twenty four, you get minus thirty. Minus thirty and minus thirty five, you get minus sixty five, which is the sum of that. Say uh, this is not given. If this is not given, we can use the other formula. Number of terms, 5. Twice the first term plus the, uh, uh, the number of terms, less 1. Times the common difference, which is negative 11. You know how to do that. And you also get 65. Negative 65. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope the video is informative helpful. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, share, comment. And don't forget to hit or smash the like button. See you.